Okay, so one very good question was asked that what should be the timing of upper GI endoscopy in corrosive poisoning or acid injection cases? So understand that in corrosive poisoning or acid injection cases, first you need to establish that there is no GI perforation. If you feel there is an evidence of esophageal or GI perforation in corrosive poisoning, we should not attempt upper GI endoscopy. Once you have established that there is no GI perforation, then we should do endoscopy within th three hours to 48 hours, preferably be between 24 hours. That why the, it is important because what happens because of the acid ingestion or corrosive poisoning, there develops uh, some mucosal hemorrhages and edema in the esophagus and the GI tract stomach. So if we attempt upper GI endoscopy after 48 hours to know the extent of injury, then the chances of GI perforation, especially esophageal and stomach perforations becomes very high. So ideally, it should be done as early as possible within 3 to 24 hours preferably, may extend up to 48 hours. That's the dictum. And why we are doing endoscopy? We need to know the extent of injury, the chances of uh, uh, developing a stricture uh, in later on uh, cases. This is the initial evaluation uh, upper GI endoscopy. Later on, when the patients develop stricture, if at all, if the patient develops stricture of esophagus later on, then the clinician delay up to three to six weeks. They delay the dilatation of the esophagus via endoscopy uh, for three to six weeks so that the chances of perforations are minimal. So this is the dictum as early as possible for identifying the extent of, uh, uh, extent of the injuries. Uh, within 3 hours to 48 hours, but it should be done preferably within 24 hours. So I hope this clarifies. Do read more about it.